Good morning and good afternoon, everybody. Uh, respective of the country who was watching this live session, welcome to HNS Global Education. HNS Global Education is a global platform for international students. We help international students from all over the world to the prospective UK universities. As part of our daily live session, which started on 28th of May, today we invited one of our other key partner, Liverpool John Moore University. Liverpool John Moore University's international recruitment officer, Mr. Nicholas Spitt, will be available with us. We're going to discuss about different entry requirements. The courses available at Liverpool John Moore University, the current situation, the scholarship options available, also any key updates for September 2020 or any January 2021 session. Let's, let's welcome to Let's welcome our guest, uh, Ms. Nicholas, to, to the live session. Good morning, Nicholas. Hi. Uh, um, good morning and good afternoon to everybody. Uh, my name's Nick and I work for Liverpool John Moores University um, in the international recruitment team. I apologise at the moment, my computer seems to be a bit off, so I am just on my phone very quickly. Um, so I hope that's okay. But any questions that you do have about starting university in September, scholarships, um, courses, please get them in to the Q&A section. Um, I'm going to turn this off on my laptop because the noise is in the background. There we go. Yes. So uh, welcome to the live session, Nick. And uh, very happy that uh, we, we have you today to the live session. Um, uh, as part of the daily live session, uh, uh, today we're going to discuss about different aspects of Liverpool John Moore University and the requirements, the courses available to them with work placement options. And at the end of the session, we're going we're gonna to go through the question and answer session. And one of my Indian, uh, uh, Indian colleagues will be joining with us later today. And, uh, and before that, so the the structure of this of this session is is divided into uh, two to three sections. Initially, we're gonna dis we're gonna go through each department wise or each uh, uh, of the Liverpool John Moore University, and uh, after that, we're gonna see any key updates about the COVID nineteen, any particular aspects of September two thousand nine uh, September two thousand twenty session, or any any update for January two thousand twenty one session, and later on, we're gonna ask uh, we're gonna see whether any of our viewers in the live session, I'm going to ask any questions. They're going to, we're going to go through each of them. So um, at, at the beginning, if you can say uh, at your opening speech about the Liverpool John Moore, what uh, I I like to invite you to have a word on that. Yeah. So Liverpool John Moore's, um, whereas it's now classed as a modern university, um, we're actually ranked in the top 100 of global young universities. Um, the history actually goes back to 1823, where we started as a mechanical engineering institute. Um, and the university has really developed from there um, with specialisms in the engineering field, sciences, including pharmacy. Um, so we have the first school of pharmacy in Europe um, and then going into the arts and um, fashion and design, but also very strong in programmes such as accounting and finance. Um, where we are currently ranked 11th in the UK. Um, other areas include computer sciences, um, criminology, education, public health. Um, so lots of different areas that were very strong. Um, we're also ranked ninth in the world for sport and exercise science um, and have a very big sport department, including programmes in sport psychology, sport business. Um, so lots of different areas within sport. Um, that make us really strong in that area. And obviously being in Liverpool, the home of the European Premier League champions, um, world champions at the moment, obviously the, that link with the football club is very, very strong um, and something that our students really appreciate. We've had students do placements at Liverpool, um, also at Everton. And I think really that's the strength of the university is the employability side. Um, so we really encourage students to be active and working alongside their studies and um, doing placements so as an example if you're on our pharmacy program you will do placements within the nhs you will do placements with companies um, in liverpool as well such as unilever um, if you do mechanical engineering you'll do a placement with jaguar land rover 
if you're in computer sciences you do a placement with sony so there's lots of these links that we have that people maybe don't think of outside of london but in the northwest and in liverpool especially there's a lot of global companies in the city that we do allow our students to go and do active placements with and really that's what we try and encourage is a lot more project work building work experience as part of the course rather than just sitting in lectures um, all the programs that developed by industry leaders um, so it's really developing your skills and giving you something to really talk about on on your job interviews or on your cv later on in life um, and that's really what we try and push um, obviously liverpool is a fantastic city it's a great student city um, there's about 70,000 students in Liverpool. Um, it's a big global community, students from all over the world, uh, local communities from all over the world as well. So we have, you know, strong communities from Africa, from the Middle East, from South Asia, um, from China as well. And um, so it's a real global community where international students are very much welcomed into the city um other than that i mean there's a lot of things to do culturally um obviously the football as well the music of liverpool um the nightlife um lots of restaurants um but one of the key i think is the affordability of liverpool if you compare it to somewhere like london accommodation is about half the price um the general living costs of going out are a lot cheaper than many other areas of the uk and for a big city you get very much good value for money. Um, being in, based in the city centre of Liverpool as well, you have no travel costs. So you're located very close to campus within walking distance, about a five or 10 minute walk, depending on which accommodation you choose. Um, so everything's very close. So you save money again from not having to spend on travel every day going into class. Um, but yeah, so a very affordable, lively, global city um that's good for students and really the emphasis of the university is getting students into work um, we have a fantastic careers team um as i say a lot of placement opportunities as part of course um so really you know a good experience and that's where we rank highly is on the student experience and employability um so so really that's if that's the sort of university you're looking for then um liverpool john moores is a fantastic option it's very much that practical learning as opposed to sitting in a lecture. Okay, um, can you hear me? Nick? Yes. Okay, so thank you very much for, uh, for having a uh, short, short discussion about overall overview of Liverpool John Moore University. And uh, we can see that in terms of the uh, department of, department of, of uh, department-wise courses, we can see there are, uh, a lot of particular specs in terms of, uh, I can say, engineering, business faculties. Along with that, I think you have a health healthcare related courses as well, which most of the lot of international students are interested in. So we'll go through each of the department and you we'll try to figure out what are the popular courses and what are the uh, courses that students would like to uh, go on, particularly for our South Asian students. And also we recently started our operation in Morocco. So our, in terms of our Moroccan students, we'd like to give them in and advice as well so if we um in terms of the uh, uh postgraduate courses if you can go through uh department wise science and engineering so what do you uh, like to say about that faculty and uh, what are the benefits that you have put on more university giving compared to other universities in terms of the science and engineering courses okay so if we look at the faculty of science first um at postgraduate level so obviously postgraduate programs are one year um our strong programs within the science area tend to be related to pharmacy um so it's pharmacy cosmetic science so cosmetic science has been a real real course for growth for us we were one of the first universities in the uk to do that and obviously we work very very closely with unilever um, and actually as part of the program you have an option to do a three-month placement with Unilever on part of the cosmetic science program. Um, so we, again, that's probably with international students, one of the most popular programs within our faculty of science at postgraduate level. Um, other areas include obviously the biomedical sciences, biochemistry, 
um, forensics as well. Um, and then also sport and exercise science. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we're ranked currently ninth in the world for sport and exercise science. So we do a lot of postgraduate level programs in that area as well. Um, and obviously, again, trying to link it with practical aspects and placements as part of that at postgraduate level. Um, what tends to be an option for a lot of our students is rather than doing a standard sort of um, dissertation, they actually do a placement as instead and then write up about that. So rather than spending three months go sitting in the library, you know, doing research that way, um, a lot of our students prefer to do a placement within an organisation and then write about that experience as their dissertation. Um, and that's always worked well for those students in terms of employability afterwards. Um, so in that Faculty of Sciences, I would say it's those pharmacy related um, postgraduate programmes and the sport and exercise science programmes as well. Um, we do areas in psychology and mental health as well, which I know is an issue that's growing a lot globally. Um, so we do have some of the first master's level programmes within specifically on mental health um, and climate change as well. Um, so a lot of different programmes available. Um, within engineering, um, that includes as well within that Faculty of Engineering Computer Sciences. Um, so within computer science areas, sort of cyber security is a programme that's really um, become very strong for us within that faculty. Um, a lot of students coming in, they're working with sort of local task forces and police forces in the UK to really look at cyber security and dealing with, you know, live crimes that are ongoing at the moment and trying to solve them themselves and working on real life tasks as part of that. Um, other than that, it's the areas of civil, mechanical and electrical engineering. Um, within electrical engineering, we do offer two year masters programs um, now they would normally be the one year masters and then one year of work the second year is paid work as well so you will be given a job for the second year um, and that's within some of our specific electrical engineering programs um, such as wireless technologies uh, and we're also working on a two-year program for data science MSc, which will be similar to that, where you do your one year course and then do your one year work afterwards as well. Um, they're sort of to be confirmed uh, for data science. Um, and obviously, with the current situation, we're just trying to work out how they will work um, for the next cycle. Um, but the two year programs are there. Um, for students, um, but I would say they will be the main programmes within engineering will be related to civil, mechanical and electrical engineering. Obviously, there's very specific programmes in there um, that are detailed on, on the website. Okay, yes, so uh, thank you very much for explaining the uh, particular courses at postgraduate level. We can see that uh, um, Liverpool John Moore recently, I think they've added uh, I think eight to 10 courses with a work placement options, which is two years, if I'm not wrong. And on that particular two years placement uh, courses, uh, um, some of the students are asking about like whether that particular work placement is a guaranteed work placement or the university will just give them a guideline about uh, how to find a job and uh, sending them to particular work place options. So what do you say about it? Hello. Okay, so within engineering, um, there's four engineering programs that a two year, two year program. It's a graduate salary, so it's a very good salary. So now, obviously, you do the first year as the masters will be taught as it would be normally, and then the second year would that year of work. Now, obviously, you have to go through an interview process. Um, to get on to that year of work. Now, we'd be looking for very good students to that apply to that two-year programme anyway to start with um, to give you a good chance of getting on to that year of work. Um, but pretty, you know, there's a very, very strong chance as long as you do well in that first year Masters um, and you pass all your modules successfully and you do well, 
then yes, there's, you know, it's a very, very strong chance that you're going to get that that second year of work. Um, but obviously, if you fail modules, things like that in the first year, then it becomes harder for you to get that placement. Um, and there will be an interview process to sort of Yeah, can you hear me, Nick? Hello? Uh, sorry, viewers. Uh, I think there is some uh, there is a uh, net there is some network issues in in my colleagues' end. Hello? Hi, uh, hi, Nick. Can you hear me? Hi, Nick. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Okay, okay. Hello. I think there's some network network issues uh, from your end. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, as uh, as uh, so yes. yeah, so dear viewers, as as Nick mentioned about the placement available for for the uh, some of the postgraduate programs, it is highly due to the fact that uh, Liverpool John Moore University is working closely with the industry experts and also the industries. It is highly likely that if you if you if you do well during the first year of the master's program, and uh, it is highly likely that you, you can secure your placements. So, and uh, we can see that in terms of science and engineering courses, there are there are courses like mechanical engineering, computer science and engineering. We always had the uh, power and control engineering, embedded system and design. I think these are the courses we that comes with one year placement, along with that with data science that that comes as as well with one year work placement option. And I think I would I like to say to my Indian students uh, who want to study at Liverpool John Moore University, keep in mind that uh, Liverpool John Moore's uh, data science course, computer science course is, is quite popular. Uh, and along with their along with their civil engineering and electronic and electrical engineering course as well. Now um, uh, we can hi Nick, can you hear me? You are frozen, actually. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, sorry, I think your screen is frozen now. Yeah, yeah it's hard to see. Uh, can you hear me? Hello. Uh, is it possible to reconnect it? Can yes, you... a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Sorry, I think your screen is frozen now. Is it possible to reconnect? Can you just uh, reconnect it? I think you can hear me now, isn't it? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me, Nick? Hello? Uh, is it possible to reconnect it? Sorry, uh, dear viewers. I think there is a network issue in Hello? colleagues' end. And Nick, can you hear me? Hello. Uh, is it possible to reconnect? Hello? Yeah. Sorry. Is it possible to reconnect it, Nick? Can you just, uh, uh, I mean, disconnect and also connect again?
Hello, can, can you hear me now? Or? Uh, yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. It's, it's quite clear now, okay? But sometimes your screen is, uh, is, is freezing, you know? It's frozen sometimes. Hello? Hello? Uh, is it possible to reconnect it? Can you just uh, disconnect, then connect again? Hello? Can you hear me? Okay, sorry, uh, dear viewers. Uh, there is some uh, network issues in my colleague's end. So uh, he's gonna, he gonna join, join with us soon. As we were discussing actually uh, regarding the uh, postgraduate options available at uh, Liverpool John Moore University's Science and Engineering faculty, uh, there are courses electronic and electrical engineering. And uh, I, let me add. Yes, Nick, can you hear me now? Is that okay or? Yes, it's okay now, it's okay now. Okay, yeah, it's just um, cracking up a bit. I can't, I can't hear anything. I don't... Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Okay. So as we were discussing about, we, we just finished our discussion about science and engineering courses at Deirpur John Moore University. It, uh, due to the fact that uh, the COVID-19 situation, given a, a big big rise of, uh, uh, you know, concern and also the uh, importance of health and science courses, health and uh, social science alike, health, I can say, uh, health and social care courses. So I think in terms of health and social care sector, uh, Liverpool John Moore also has has a, I mean, uh, good good number of courses available. So if you can say something about that, that particular like nursing, public health. Uh, hello. Hello. Sorry, dear viewers. Uh, there's some network issue in my in my colleagues' end. As we're discussing, actually, we are discussing about health and social care courses like public health institutes. They have nursing and allied health, pharmacy and biomedical science, sports studies. We can see we can if if we go to the public health particular programs, we can see um, a, we can see there are courses related to drugs, alcohol, environment, sustainability, intelligence and surveillance as well. And uh, so, and uh, uh, some other particular courses like violence and um, unintentional injuries, international public health. And most importantly, public health courses is being approved by public health institutes. So the courses are fully approved by the public health institutes. So let's uh, wait for our colleagues uh, end. Let's see whether he'll be able to join with us. I think uh, there's some, uh, because, of, because of the weather condition today in, in the UK, so there's some network issues. Nick, can you hear me now? Hello? Is it possible to add it? Uh, Hello. Is it possible to add it? Uh, no, it's just not. Can you connect it through your voice? Sorry. Yeah. Can you? Can you? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Or oh, basically, I don't know why. Uh, what actually happened from you? And uh, is there any? Is there any internet issues or? Uh, Hello. Uh, hi, Nick. Yeah, can you hear me? Hello. Is that working or? Uh, my end is working perfectly. Yes. I, I'm just wondering whether uh, is there any network issues in your end, 
at your end, sorry. I, I've never had issues before. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, yes, no, now it's all, all fine. I'd... Yeah, looks fine now. Uh, basically, we were discussing about the public health related courses because of the COVID nineteen situation. Those courses are in high demand, I believe. In and uh, and so, if you say something about that particular department and the courses available to the for John Moore, what are the facilities that we give to our students? So I think I couldn't hear, but I, th I think we were asking about health programs. Yes, um, please. So, so within health, our strongest program really at, ma at master's level is international public health. Um, and that's very popular with our students from South Asia and Africa specifically. Um, and again, obviously has a lot of that practical because it's it's not necessarily a faculty it's a public health institute um so it's very active in research um so that's something that students will get involved in as well um looking specifically probably at their home country um and really applying issues to their home country as well making applications um for that program from international students because of the the COVID-19 situation at the moment. Um, and again, the faculty has been supporting the Public Health Institute and supporting the local community in Liverpool um, at the moment in terms of offering advice um, and support to the city. Um, our School of Pharmacy and Engineering as well have been supplying equipment to hospitals um, at the moment as well. So the university is really engaged at the moment in sort of dealing with uh, COVID now locally in the all and support the local communities. Um, obviously now th things are looking better, um, and you know we are hoping that things stay that way and things are you know reopening in the UK now. Um, in terms of our sort of start dates and things like that, we are still expecting to start in September. Um, the first semester will be blended learning. Um, so it will be a mix of face to face learning and online learning. Um, so any courses that were normally have these long lectures, they would be online. If you work face with a tutor. Okay. Um, thank you very much for explaining about the uh, particular uh, uh, course which is health and. Uh, okay. So. Yes. So basically, in terms of the public health, we can see that it, it, this this particular course is approved by public health institutes as well, and it's quite popular in terms of our South Asian students. And if we can uh, move on to the, our next particular uh, uh, department is maritime and mechanical engineering. In, in nowadays, uh, there are getting quite popular uh, in terms of our South Asian and also other part of the uh, country. The courses, I believe, like um, in maritime science, international transport and trade logistics, maritime operations. So this type of particular courses are quite popular in in countries like Bangladesh and, and other part of the world. And uh, so if you can say something about that particular department, please. Uh, Nick, your, your voice is... Uh, yeah, can you hear? I can hear you now. Yes. So, sorry, what was that engineering or? It was actually many time courses available to our uh, particular. Uh, oh, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. So we do various programs um, within maritime. So main one sort of marine and offshore engineering um, and it's very much related to mechanical engineering 
and then specialising within the maritime sector. Um, we also do programmes within sort of like port management areas like that. So if it's more the management side of um, maritime that you're interested, in, do that as well. Um, so it's port management and then supply trade as well for us. Um, so obviously Liverpool is a big port city. It's a global port city. Um, so again, we have very much practical experience based within the port of Liverpool as part of those uh, gradual we do do nautical science so if you're looking to drive ship ships you know be a pilot on a ship um is what it's called so we do that as well if that's what you want to train in doing and um, so we offer that at an undergraduate level um but very much it's it's the areas of either the business side of maritime or the mechanical engineering side of maritime um, that we look at. Okay, okay. Now, in terms of your, uh, let's move on to uh, another particular department that I think some of our students from um, from other parts, from uh, from particular South Asian students will be interested in, which is, I believe, in business related courses, business law and criminal justice. So, um, in, regarding the fact that a uh, lot of st students are coming from Bangladesh, particularly for law courses and also business courses. So if you can say something about that particular department. Please. Yeah, so within um, the Faculty of Business and Law, um, I would say some of our sort of strongest programs yeah, programs in sort of international business management uh, that, that do include advanced practice. Which is, is a consultancy role in for, um, so they're very well as we're encountering. Um, so, so, so we do programs at master's level in financial management. Um, investment and finance as well. Um, so these are very personal students, especially the investment side, the investment and finance um, are very strong programs. Um, and then we also do programs that combine business and law as well. So international business and law. Um, so if you're interested in the law or of business, um, directly, then that's a very strong pro. Obviously, we do the LLF programs, so our exam um, post study as well. Um, so there's a lot of support. There's a lot of different programs available so really i do advise looking at module content specifically um as to which program will be best for you um but i would say sort of the msc investment and finance has has been very popular from the south asia region um, and we are getting a lot of students onto that course at the moment okay so um, we can see that uh, in terms of the business, uh, particular business faculty, Department of Business and Law, uh, we can see there are uh, a few courses. I think uh, that our Bangladeshi uh, students will be will be get, uh, get benefited uh, because uh, during our uh, during our uh, uh, like uh, Facebook uh, marketing uh, marketing. Uh, session like we actually uh, got several messages from uh, for particular courses like uh, llm and international llm in international business corporate law llm in global crime justice and security international corporate law and management l uh, i think you have a uh, the repo Jormo university also has lpc which is legal practice courses and uh, general masters uh, level law qualifications and along with that there are the LLB courses is available with a with foundation year and without foundation year as well and in terms of 
in terms of the business courses that uh, Nick already mentioned, that particular uh, business courses are quite popular in terms of the uh, South Asian and other students. Uh, I should say that uh, in in accounting and finance courses, Nick, I think in terms of accounting and finance courses, is your accounting and finance course is approved by the uh, other accounting bodies like ACCA, ICW? Hello? Sorry, what was that? Sorry, it keeps cracking up. I can't. Can you hear me now? I can't hear anything. Hello, Nick. Can you hear me? A little bit. Yeah. So basically, I'm asking. I think yeah, majority of your uh, business and uh, business courses are approved by the CMI, the Chartered Management Institute, and also uh, some of your courses which are in accounting that they are approved by SCCA and other professional accounting bodies. If I'm wrong. Hello? Nick, can you hear me? I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't hear any of that. Okay. No, I, I couldn't hear any of that. Let me add you again. Yeah, can you hear me now, Nick? Hello? Yes, for now, yeah, it just keeps cracking up. Um, but... Yes, so basically what, what I was discussing about your business, particular business courses, which is like, you know, uh, like accounting and finance, investments, and some of the business courses, I think they are approved by the uh, professional accounting bodies, and uh, which will be, uh, which are, which are, uh, which are, which are uh, like recognized, like ICW and ACCA for for the accounting courses, for the finance courses, for for CFA, Chartered Institute of Finance, uh, CFA HIP programs. You know, because some of the students who who were doing uh, the bachelor courses at your um, uh, at, uh, and accounting and finance also and along with that other courses like accounting and finance or investment management uh courses in, in postgraduate level they have they have tend to tend to go further in terms of professional qualification so if the master's or bachelor level course has uh, is, is been recognized by the accounting or other professional bodies then what what will happen when they go for the professional courses that they'll get some exemptions based on that hello can you hear me uh hello hello yeah i can hear you nick can you hear me? Hello? It just honestly just keep going off. I can't. Okay, uh, let me reconnect it. Can, is it possible to reconnect it? Can you just disconnect and, and connect again? Because in my end, internet is working perfectly. Actually, I don't know why. What actually happened to the to the live session? Sorry, dear viewers. Uh, there's some. Uh, I mean, there's some uh, continuous internet issues uh, going on uh, to my colleagues' end. So that's why there is some disruption. Uh, there's some uh, disruptions going on. And so, actually, what we are discussing that Liverpool John Moore University uh, business courses that are approved by different uh, um, professional bodies. Yes, Nick, can you hear me now? Okay, can you hear me? I think uh, if that is the case, uh, I think we, we might need to um, end our sessions a bit earlier than expected. Can you hear me now? I ca I cannot hear you properly. Your, your sound is not coming up. Okay. 
हेलो हेलो कैन यू हेयर मी okay nick i think uh, we will we will uh, end our sessions bit early today and uh, due to the fact that uh, we were not being able to connect you properly so i'll communicate with you and hopefully if if needed we will reschedule our our live session uh dear viewers uh sorry will be actually there is some uh, serious network issues are uh, going on in in my in uh, in my colleagues end uh nicolas speed was not being able to connect it properly uh from from his end so we will finish our sessions uh, early we will we will try to rearrange it in another time i think uh, one of the student already asked one of the questions that when the university will open and do you have the january session yes uh kushi uh we will have january sessions and university is expecting to open it as usual for september sessions as well but in terms of the january session the courses are limited nick can you hear me hello yeah i can hear you can you hear me is that okay or i is is okay i don't know what 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 it should happened uh, this yes yeah yeah it just honestly just keeps cracking okay okay uh so basically um i was i was thinking that uh, whether we had to we we have to uh, go for uh, you know um uh, uh, the uh, another session because of the internet so as we are i think was we are going to connect with you we are discussing about the uh, we discussing about the uh, business related courses actually and you, you explained that they, they are uh, they are uh, they are uh the courses are already approved approved by the industry experts a different industry uh different accounting bodies professional bodies so students international students will get the benefit out of it you know so now uh let's move on to a, a short discussion about the undergraduate courses available at liverpool john moy university so if you can say something about that hello nick can you hear me Dear viewers, I think we there are some network issues going on, and we have. Let's see whether we'll we'll, we'll be able to continue or not. Nick, can you hear me now? your screen is uh, frozen actually i think we have to end us end the session early nick and uh, if needed we will be able to rearrange it from your from your laptop next time so can you hear me now i think i i can't hear you from my end uh, we will be able to reconnect we will be able to uh, rearrange it uh, in another time so dear viewers uh, uh we are still trying to add nick uh sorry dear viewers actually we there are some serious and uh, internet issues uh, 
are going on at Nick's end. So, so, and uh, we'll we'll have we we'll have this these sessions rearranged, um, and we're going to discuss a bit more further. That session will be will be shorter than this one, as we discussed a little bit about the the courses available at Wilbur John Moore University, and uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna announce it soon when it has been arranged. And, and, and if I say uh, overall, the overview of this, this session today, we discussed about some of the postgraduate courses available at Liverpool John Moore University. And uh, what we can, we, we, can, we can see that there are, uh, I think there are some courses available at science and engineering courses, science and engineering department, like electrical engineering, and some of the business related courses like digital marketing courses that comes with a one year work placement. And according to the uh, Nick's point of view, uh, according to the Nick, what uh, Nick that that he mentioned during his uh, his 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 speech that uh, Liverpool John Moore has a very good uh, industry link. So that's why once you finish your uh, First year of your uh, uh, taught modules. If you if you if you get good mark, and um, you there are, there are high chances of getting uh, getting placement, and and that is actually paid placements as well. So in terms of the placement point of view, students who are a bit, a bit concerned about the placements, that whether they'll be able to uh, uh, get the placements on time or whether it has been approved or not, we can rest assured that uh, due to due to the reputation of Liverpool John Moore University, uh, it is highly likely that you will get the placements. And in terms of the bachelor level courses, what I like to say is that bachelor level courses are, uh, are I mean, some of the courses are coming with one year placements. Some are coming with the three years standard, uh, uh, standard, uh, standard bachelor degree course. And some of the courses are coming with foundation here. So students who are not being able to get a direct bachelor degree, they'll be able to able to get uh, the bachelor degree course with a with a foundation year. And uh, along with that, Liverpool John Moore also has a pre masters course. So if you if any international students are not being able to get direct masters entry, you also have the options to apply for pre masters and masters. It will be joint class letter anyway. And in terms of the entry requirements, uh, master's courses are, are 6.5 overall, individual 6.0. Some of the courses are 6.0 overall, in 6.0 and 5.5. And some of the alternative English language uh, courses are available are, are also been accepted, like, do, uh, like ILTS indicators. Uh, uh, I need to confirm whether Duolingo is being accepted by Lebo John Moore or not. Our Indian students, if you if you want to study at Liverpool John Moore for your postgraduate level course, you will be given English exemptions. Uh, English exemptions are based on you your 7.0 mark, 70% mark in your high secondary. So what I overall what I like to say is that it is a great opportunity for uh, international students to study at Liverpool John Moore University. Sorry that the due to the internet issues, we are not being able to reconnect Nick, uh, we'll be able to job, we'll be able to uh, arrange this session again. And hopefully we're gonna discuss further. We're gonna go through your uh, questions that you have in mind. What you can do by this time, you can send your uh, questions to our Facebook Messenger. We'll keep keep the record. And in our next session, we're gonna discuss about it. If you, if you want to have any particular uh, questions about entry requirements, scholarships, we're going to cover that in our um, rank next arranged session as well. So by this time, uh, stay safe and uh, uh, hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.